So after tons and tons of speculation, Cater finally locked in the deal with Adidas. Along with probably a lot of you, I was definitely really confused what was going on. He's wearing Nike, the next week he's wearing Adidas, and the next week he's wearing Nike. Just flipping and flopping and flipping and flopping. Man, that thing's been beeping this whole time, really sorry about that. I personally thought it would have been sick to see him go to Nike, but I wonder if Adidas was dishing out the bag a little bit more than Nike made him a better offer, because you know that Nike was trying to get him. He's kind of like the golden boy right now. So I think for me, the weirdest thing about how this all went down, the announcement of it. So what happened was Adidas did a fold out ad in Thrasher that just came out today. And then a little bit later on, it came out on Instagram, Adidas posted that Cater was with them, and then Cater put it on his story. The disrespect though, he didn't even post about it. He hasn't even put like a real post out. But the weird thing is that just a few days ago, he released a part on, on Thrasher. It was a, a Thrasher cold call video. And in that video, he's wearing only Nike. And so if you're Thrasher, you're like knowing that you're about to put an Adidas ad in your next magazine, but six days before your mag drops, you put out this video of Cater and Nikes. So it's like really, really confusing, but obviously it takes time for them to like film it and edit it and then schedule it to be posted. So obviously there's like a lag there. He pretty much did a bunch of free advertising for Nike in that video. And then finally at the end of it, just a few days later, it comes out that he's locked in with Adidas, so very, very strange. In light of everything that's going on with Cater going to Adidas, I decided today I wanted to make my session a Cater Silla skate session. So if you follow Cater on Instagram, you'll see these ridiculous clips of Cater doing like the straight A, Nat Stoner, over that little China bump. And just the guy's consistency is like really, really impressive. The other thing that really sticks out to me about Cater is just his kickflips in general. He can blast his kickflips. And then the last thing is how well he skates rail. Ever since he was just really, really small, he was smashing out the craziest rails. So first I'm gonna warm up and then I'm gonna try and do this straight eight. I definitely do not have all those tricks, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. After that, I'm gonna find a little bump and try and blast a kickflip. Baby, baby blast. And then the last thing, I wanna, I wanna skate this rail down, like off a curb, down. If I can really get myself comfortable doing 50-50s going on flat, I wanna try and 50-50 down the rail, just to kinda get that extra tweak and feeling of, you know, locking in and grind down. Obviously, if you're expecting Cater Silla in this video, you're stuck here with me. If you don't like that, well, you can leave and I definitely will not blame you. But if you like seeing somebody struggle to skateboard, well, I am your guy. So I'm feeling pretty warm right now. Gonna go ahead and try the straight eight. This is gonna be a disaster, but let's get it. Well, that went about as good as I thought it would be. Obviously, I've never landed all eight or in a row, straight. That's a long-term goal of mine, and it really inspires me. Cater's consistency and just, he can just bang those out whenever he wants. And you can tell that if somebody can just bang those out, 
over a pyramid first try in his head he is like determined to master skateboarding and I can relate to that like I know I'm not gonna be the greatest skateboarder in the world but I want to master it to the point you know that I can that I'm proud of my efforts in learning the craft the next thing we're gonna do is do some 50 50s on our rail here and then once we get comfortable take it over to the curb and set up a little down rail situation and uh, pray that it all goes well gonna be a huge test for me <laughs> see if I can skate down this little thing again this curb like isn't much but in skateboarding you can mess yourself up just trying to kickflip you know so when it's something you've never done before it's still terrifying so go ahead and get some warm-up tricks on this maybe do some board slides and then once I'm feeling like I have no more excuses I'm just gonna do this thing so let's see how it goes This thing really isn't big, but it's freaking me out, and it's time for me to try 50-50s on it. Hopefully, I don't get broke off. Honestly, I, I think it's just gonna come down to confidence. And if not, I'm like six inches off the ground, you know? I guess like a foot off the ground. Just bend my knees and be confident. Whew. Let's get this thing, first try. trying it and then when I'm hitting the cracks leading up to it it's just like it's hard to get comfortable and feel confident but oh, shit. crazy that was so scary but in the end it's not scary it's never scary when you actually commit to it I swear it's things like this that make skateboarding worth it when you're like so terrified to try something and you just step by step mentally get yourself to the point of trying it and then you realize that you can do it and then when you do it that feeling is literally what skateboarding is all about so we've got one more thing to do and that's to send a big kickflip so shouldn't take that long but I say that now and then it's gonna be like it's gonna take forever but <laughs> there's a little lawn tramp kind of a thing on the other side so there's a little lawn tramp kind of thing on the other side of the parking lot so I'm gonna go see if I can kickflip off that if we can get that then we're three for three and it's a good day this has been a quick session it's only been like less than an hour so it's been a good day if we can get this kickflip that's some progress baby let's go Kickflip was a little sketchy. I landed a little heavy on the heels, but I'm happy with it, man. Just the little things like that, getting down the fundamentals, and eventually take it to bigger and better stuff. So, super stoked. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I've been trying to post more skateboarding stuff on Instagram, so if you want to follow me on Instagram, here is my little Instagram thingy. But again, guys, thank you so much for the support. The channel's been growing really good. This video is kind of just like thrown together, so I hope it turns out good. I hope you guys like it. If you do want to support me, you can go buy a Friday shirt. The link will be below, as well as links to my complete skateboard. So if you're looking for skateboard parts that I personally 
personally would recommend. All those are gonna be linked down below. And if you use my link, it helps support the channel. So thank you so much. You guys are the best and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.